another tutorial on Site Blender 2.9 and here I'm going to teach you how to make uh, an Easter egg and for this tutorial I'm not going to make things very difficult for you since this is a very short tutorial and making an Easter egg is also fairly simple there are other projects I'm working on right now so in this tutorial I'm going to use basic lighting basic uh, materials and basic modifiers even some basic modeling even using some subdivision modifiers etc don't get scared by this since it's a very beginner tutorial and if you want something very difficult you can look at other tutorials of mine or I can make some very difficult ones for you if you just like. And right here I'm going to not delete everything I forgot because you need to hide the default cube or else you will get cursed for your life and so don't delete the default cube of very cursory. What? No, no, no. Cursory doesn't mean... Oh my god, I'm just so bad right now. Okay, I don't really know. At first, I'm going to add an icosphere, which I'm going to do this, and let's model this fairly simple. Let's uh, move the top one, and as you can see, if you just drag it here, it's going to be a pineapple. No, it's not going to be a pineapple. It's just going to be like a decoration or something, which is definitely not good for you. And so instead, you need to enable proportional editing, and as you can see, this drags uh, other vertices with it. So if you do... Um, proportional size by scrolling your mouse Wait, actually let me turn on screen cast key for you to see and over here let's uh, do GZ to go uh, straight up and something like no something like this that looks pretty nice but we still need to increase this okay that's a technical failure anyways let's just increase this yeah, that, that looks something very nice, and so yeah, that will be the basic model for our egg, and maybe we can also increase the size here, so to make it fatter at the bottom, and yeah, that's a pretty good shape. Now let's add a subdivision modifier, this is uh, a Catmo Clark, I guess, it's adjust this to 6, and this will also be 6, and yeah, that looks pretty nice. And let's just increase the... Uh, uh, S shift D to increase on both the axis Y and X and yeah this looks pretty wide and pretty nice so let's go ahead to the image texture one for this one let's split our tabs uh, vertical split split and then uh, go to edit type and we will choose UV editor for UV editor I'm going to use uh, a Easter wrapping paper texture I found in Google and here let's open the texture up and here it is. By the way, I'm working on the second episode of A Forbidden Planet, and it's pretty cool. I add some cape to the main character, which is very, um, uh, very nice, I guess. So hopefully it'll work out for me. And now let's also open this the same texture, or we can still refresh it. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to do this. And as you can see, this is a texture I found, and it's just like a Easter wrapping paper, just like I said. And before we even do anything, we need to apply the apply the subdivision modifier. And here, uh, you can see it's way more detailed. And so, if we make this bigger outside the limit, because if we uh, do it like outside the limit, it still have the texture. So it'll be pretty cool. And then, since this texture is a little bit weird, so let's make this decrease on the x-axis. And it's still a little weird, so let's decrease it a little bit more, and then do uh, increase it. This looks better, but still a little weird, so let's increase the size of the x, y axis, I'm sorry, to make the size bigger. Okay, I clicked it wrong. And no, that's way too big. Something like this. Yeah, something like that works out very well. By the way, you can also make this yourself. Uh, you don't have to use the same texture. You don't have to use the same egg. You can just do it yourself. You can use subdivision modifier at first using a round cube, etc. But that's up to you if you want to do it or not. And so right here, I'm going to uh, basically apply the roughness shader since it's like not really difficult. We just adjust this value over here. And so, yeah, that's probably the end of the video already. And then... I told you it's going to be very, very simple. Let's go to uh, Eevee for right now. So we can look at the texture a little bit more. And then we can also adjust the lighting using our previous sun and a basic blender. And yeah, it's the light so far. So let's make the sun. Oh my god, what's the strength? 
All my strings, strings, strings. Oh my god, I can't talk because it was too loud, too loudly high, and it's killing me right now. But yeah, I I want this to go a little bit down. So yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that looks very good. So right shadows bias no this don't make bias stuff and the sickness no it's okay for me yeah that's good enough right so now here we have the egg and so we can also apply a uh, background texture but if you want to do that you can do it yourself for this video you can just found uh, found environmental texture and then apply one to yourself which is an hdri and that would be pretty cool so that's the end of the video. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you really found this helpful. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.